Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun. And I have reached 100 subscribers. I didn't want to mention anything before just because that can change pretty easily here on YouTube. But I want to thank you all for being subscribed to me and watching and liking my videos. Today I have a haul. These are from a couple of trips this week. I'm just now getting some time to sit and show them. And it's Saturday today, so I hope you're all having a good weekend. And let's get started. This is Mrs. Freshly's Delicious Deals Oatmeal Creams. You get eight individually wrapped little cookies here with a marshmallowy filling. I like these a lot. They're nice soft texture. I think what had stopped me from buying these for a long time was I was thinking they were crunchy and um, dry, but these are nice snacks. And they're made in the USA. They are sweet potato chips, sea salt, all natural, crinkle cut. They don't expire until August. And you get three ounces. It says they're gluten free, zero grams trans fats, and three servings of veggies. I don't particularly like sweet potato chips or french fries, but I figured my mom might like these. And they are made in the USA. I don't talk too much about this because I've bought this one a whole bunch of times. These water mixes, you get 10 little packets, no aspartame. Um, I've only bought strawberry lemonade flavor, but I'm sure the other ones are probably good too. And I bought a couple of these. My nephews ate the other one. These are Sour Punch Bites. I remember buying these quite a bit during high school, or the long straw version, mainly just the strawberry flavor. Um, but this has peach, mango, pineapple, orange, kiwi, and strawberry. I especially want to try, try the peach. I like most peach flavored stuff. And you get four ounces. And these are also made in the USA. Taste the Conti sauce. I know it is a much better value to buy this at the grocery store. You get more. But while I'm at Dollar Tree, I see this. And I just go ahead and grab it because it's there. It doesn't expire till 2017. And this is made in the USA. Division of the Campbell Soup Company. Also wanted to try this old-fashioned cheese nacho cheddar melt. Pasteurized cheese snack. You get 8 ounces. And you also get 8 ounces of the paste picante sauce in this size jar. So if you don't need a lot, it's probably good to get it at Dollar Tree anyway. So sell by November 2016. It's made in the USA here in Wisconsin. I hope it's good. Nachos are one of my favorites. Next are these adult coloring books. This one's in mandalas. That's what that looks like. Flowers. And the last one is Geometrical Grown-Up Coloring Book. This one is thicker than the others and you just get one side. Which might or might not be important. I don't know how much it bothers you guys to see the uh, other pattern on the other side of the paper. And this one is a different company from the other ones, but all of them are made in the USA. And these I saw on Care or Care Ibromates channel. These uh, I like this pattern, the table covers, and the ones that are these size, 54 by 108 inches usually fit our backyard uh, picnic table pretty well so I thought these would be great for the summer and I went ahead and bought two. And these are also made in China. Next are these owl stickers. You get 12 and I just thought they were very cute. Just various uh, facial expressions. The rest of this stuff is all makeup related, so if you're not interested in that, um, that's all this stuff is. With this little cosmetic case, and I try to always check zippers on things just because sometimes they can be jammed or just not be smooth. 
and I like the, the color on this one. This is from Greenbrier, it's made in China. And same as this one. This one I bought a few of sometime last year and I used them for gifts. And this is from Sashi and Chic. This is from Greenbrier. And it has a, a handle and it does fit a good amount of makeup if that's what you're needing. And I won't show repeats, but I bought a few of these for my Prima shade of the Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. I'm assuming it's a beige or translucent color. A few of these little black dress cream eyeliners. It says that it is long lasting and waterproof and it comes with a brush. of these long wearing eye pencils and color space cake which I think is brown and one of these wet and wild pencil sharpeners and last thing is an elf product this baked eyeshadow trio in smoky sea and it says that it is infused with Jojoba, rose, sunflower, apricot, and grape to help nourish and hydrate the skin. And I just bought one of that. A couple of the e.l.f. cream shadows I bought, or I guess they're called e.l.f. smudge pots. I opened one and it was really dried out. Um, it's difficult to use. It said you were supposed to be able to use it as a cream shadow and an eyeliner and I had difficulty using it for either. It was a little bit easier when I rubbed it between two fingers to use as an eyeshadow base, but it was definitely not worth buying. I don't know if it was just old, because I remember when those smudge pots first came out, they had some good reviews, but I saw a couple other shades of those at Dollar Tree, and I was about to buy them, and I just decided not to. So, maybe it was just the one I opened, but I don't think I would get those, and I would just go with a regular primer. All right, so those are all of the extras over there. That is everything in my haul. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you again to all of my 100 subscribers and anyone who is going to subscribe. I appreciate you all for being interested enough in my videos to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as for having a 100 subscriber giveaway, I am not too sure about that yet. I will need to do a little more research to make sure I do it properly since I haven't done one before. Um, but I'll let you guys know. I hope you all have a good weekend. Take care and bye.